Well, uh, welcome to the Belgian Grand Prix weekend. Uh, just wrapped up practice, getting out to, uh, uh, going out to qualifying. Um, overall, pretty good practice, I would say. Uh, not the best that it could have been. A lot of greens, not as many purples as I would have liked, but, uh, but overall, at least we passed all the practice programs. It's always a good thing uh, in one way or another. We'll take a look at the forecast. Yep, still rain. It looks like maybe in Q2 and towards the end of Q1. Uh, so that could throw a wrench into things. I'm not sure we have. We have no practice in the rain. And going up all rouge in the rain is not really something I want to do. Uh, so this, this ought to be interesting. Uh, and then the weekend preview that never gives us anything. But... Uh, Oh, this actually, this actually gave us a little bit of something. Mind your line on the entry to Eau Rouge. Oh, yeah? yeah? Yeah, how about that? But without further ado, let's get out to qualifying and see where we can uh, make it on the grid for the Belgian Grand Prix. It's qualifying time at Spa, one of the mightiest tracks on the Formula One calendar. Long straights up and downhill, Eau Rouge as well. This track isn't for the faint-hearted. Well, not much of an intro there from Crofty um, for, you know, a track like Spa, but, you know, Whatever. Welcome to the Belgian Grand Prix. This is qualifying. Um, let's just get right out there. As always, park for a minute. No changes to the setup is going to happen here. Let's get out on a flying lap um, before the rain starts to fall. Uh, we don't know when it's coming. We do know that it looks like it is in the mid part of qualifying. I threw his way to fuck back here. Didn't let us out until... Oh, did I just see... Raindrops, I think it is starting to sprinkle. And indeed it is. So if we're going to be able to get one lap in, it is just going to be light rain. That is uh, something to celebrate. So even if it rains, it, I don't think it's going to get that much harder than this. But... Gonna get, uh, gonna be best to get out here and set a fast lap right now. I haven't been hitting that corner well all weekend, so Lord knows I fucked it up there too. Let's see how Eau Rouge is in the light rain. And there's that. Well, I fucked up. I know, I know you're shocked. Let's come around for another one. We get knocked out in Q1. I think uh, it's a definite uh, grid pedaling once again for us. Fresh engine components. Never a bad thing to turn down. Rain uh, not getting much harder than this. Not, uh, not doing a whole lot. I don't think that had anything to do with the rain, that mistake up or rouge. I think that was just... And that's weird because I hadn't done that in practice at all. I haven't. Cu I, I don't believe I cut that part of Eau Rouge at all in practice. So we'll come around and do another lap here. Hopefully it's good enough for the top 15. Hopefully we didn't murder the tires too much. That was not a great... Uh, Bit of wheel spin there, not fantastic. I didn't butcher the corner as much as I had, but Daniel Ricardo is going to come out right in front of us. This is not that great because I suspect he's going to try and do something silly. Oh, that was nearly really bad. Oh, that was sketchy as 
fuck. Sideways up Eau Rouge is not, not a place you want to be. I definitely think the rain is starting to affect the grip level. A little bit. Don't penalize me, thank you. Nothing I can do. There's only one lap of fuel remaining. Oh please, let it let it let it last this lap, please. Jeez, fuck. Track is really starting to get damp now. If anyone hadn't put a lap down, like Daniel Ricardo's going to probably be struggling mightily. Ten minutes left of this rain, then we think it's going to dry up. Ten, Ten minutes. minutes left, but that's less than there is in the session, I do believe. Although I don't know. Oh dear lord, this is gonna be a terrible lap. I just, there's just no grip. No grip. Track's getting really wet now. We come across the line with a 12th place effort. We may very well be out in Q1. This is not looking very good for us. Um, that invalidated lap of the first time around really, really hurt us. Uh, because we just, we just didn't have, uh, just didn't have the the track with us at that point um are we last mm, no see this is what i'm talking about though this might save us we may get through just because ricardo so far our fastest Rica see ricardo's on intermediates all the point seven i mean lance stroll putting down 202s so that's not gonna work vettel hamilton i don't know if they top us on their intermediate tires, I guess we'll see. There are on Lewis Hamilton with a 157.6. Nope, I don't think they're gonna do it. Vettel with a 158. See, the track is going away big time, and they're on the inners, which are, which slow retire anyway. Oh no. Oh boy. So Raikkonen is the only one that can bump us to 15th, but we are clearly uh, in at the moment. Uh, we're going to accelerate time. I, I mean, we're not going to set a faster time on our in, in, intermediate, so we're just going to have to live with our time. Lance Stroll did improve. I think these guys are going to improve a little bit. Going to go back out again, and we'll see. I don't think... Nope. Wow. What an, what an order. The, uh, the Valtteri Bottas on the soft tires. What's up, game, game, gamut, Benny? T Why is every name on Twitch so hard to pronounce? Oh my god, unbelievable. Um, let's see here. Bottas is the only Mercedes. Hamilton did not advance. And then I mean this this top of the this is bizarre. Look at look at the bottom, Red Bull, Ferrari, Ferrari, Mercedes, and then Lance Stroll. I don't know why Lance waited so long. That's a little bizarre there. But they all waited too long. Had to come out on the intermediate tires. The gamble does not pay off. The only unfortunate thing about that is that you know a lot of those guys are going to be taking power unit penalties, so that's going to help them later in the season. But let's be honest, we're not competing for the championship here in year one any anyway. That's unbelievable. That's what in the world was that? That's a bizarre Q1, but we make we make it through. We make it through. We uh we we get away with our awful mistake and it looks is it still raining? Nope, it's but it could rain again. I don't know what the track is like right now. Let's see what tires it just puts me on. If it puts me on super softs, maybe the track is okay. It's spitting rain, and we're on supers. Oh, dear God. Uh, this might not be a great idea. We'll be honest, but we'll see. With a fresh set of super softs, maybe. You never know. 
They did say the rain was going to stop, so maybe it stopped for a little bit. Not sure what tire everyone else is on. I got to force India way the hell back there. No, the grip feels fine. Now we'll, we'll see when we go up Eau Rouge here. My goodness, the last time we uh, we went up here. Well, we were sideways, but that's because we hit, yeah, we hit the curve this time. Rip. That's going to do our qualifying. Looks like it's going to be 15th. Oh, ouch. Stupid mistakes. Once again. Just trying to get too much out of it. And on the curb. And bang. Hard, hard crash. So that's going to do it for our qualifying. But uh, we did. Man, we could have had a shot at pole. With with the crazy uh, the crazy um, order. But I'm sure it will happen again at some point. Ah, man. Another qualifying crash. I'm good at those. I think that's like our third one. Uh, somehow our reputation with Ferrari went up because of that. Maybe because we out-qualified them. Our reputation with our own team stands still as well as uh, the majority of the other teams. And no change in our respect level. Tough luck there. It's not quite where we'd want to be on the grid. But chin up, it's not the end of the world. I, th I thought 15th was our goal, though, for qualifying. So that's not really all that bad. But anyway... We're here, Spa, Belgian Grand Prix. Uh, thankfully, the race will be dry. No, uh, no wrenches will be thrown in uh, like they were in qualifying. Jeff uh, says, the mechanics have done everything they can do up to this point. Now it's up to you to drive the wheels off and bring home a good result. P.S. Tell you what, lap the field and I'll buy you a, a pizza, okay? Jeff is motivating us with food he is literally the little league baseball mom anyway let's get out to spa for the belgian grand prix in the 48 races held at spa between 1950 and 2015 the race winner has only started from pole position on 16 occasions Qualifying yesterday may have set the order for today, but expect the unexpected here at the Belgian Grand Prix. As the saying goes, of course, anything can happen. And you know what? It usually does. So here we are once again at Spa-Francorchamps, with 19 corners, 9 to the right and 10 to the left, and a lap distance of 4.35 miles. An average lap speed in the dry here is around 145 miles per hour. It's a very quick circuit indeed. With me today, of course, is Anthony Davidson. Now, I want to ask you about Charles Leclerc. They're in for a tough race today. They'll be starting out of position due to a penalty from earlier in the weekend. It's unfortunate, but it happens to everyone at some point. You just have to accept your fate, knuckle down, and get on with the business of making up that deficit during the Grand Prix. So they'll be pushing hard today. One to watch for sure. We're almost ready to go then, and this is what the starting grid looks like for today's race. Good job yesterday from Valtteri Bottas. The fence starts from pole position. Edging out Max Verstappen, he'll start from P2. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Hulkenberg, Grosjean, Carlos Sainz, and Gasly, Alonso, Perez, Ocon. They've taken a grid penalty. And Stoffel van Dorn, Hartley, Magnussen, Marcus Ericsson, Cox, Leclerc, Ricardo, Sebastian Vettel, and and Kimi Raikkonen, Hamilton and Lance Stroll rounds off the grid. And now it's time to head down to the track. OK, don't worry about making places into one. It's far too tight. Concentrate on a clean exit so you get good momentum down the Camel Straight. Well, they're, they're British. Of course they're emphasizing weird shit. This weekend. It's just what they do. Welcome to the Belgian Grand Prix. I thought we'd be starting on the uh, on the inside for turn one, but it doesn't look like that's going to be the case. It's what it showed on the uh, on the grid thing there, but somehow we are 
I, I, I don't know. That doesn't make much sense. Anyway, uh, let's take a look at the strategy. As I suspected, it is supers to softs. Um, I'm not going to mess around with the strategy because that's really what cost us in the last race. I would have reversed this um, and gone soft to stupers, thinking it may be faster. Uh, yeah, yeah, that was not the case like it was in China. It worked in China, did not work in wherever the hell we were last. Uh, Germany? I think that was it. Honestly, not even one of my favorite circuits anyway. But, we're, yeah, uh, let's see if we could play around with it a little bit. Maybe stay out one more lap on the supers, pit on lap five. I think that'll work for us. And, I mean, if the tire wears good, then we may stay out longer. The, unfor the only unfortunate thing is, is that you do have to go um, on to the uh, uh, different tire compound. Which they do away with that rule. Man, oh man. Because I can make it supers to supers. Oh well. Shit. That is uh, going to be the strategy then. And let's get this one underway with the formation lap. We did gain a position. Charles Leclerc had that grid penalty. I did forget about that. I mean, this grid is just absolutely bizarre. I mean, there's going to be a lot of cars. I know the Williams is still very, very slow, but... I feel like our pace is better than... It's definitely better than Marcus Erickson's when we have equal... Equal conditions. I'm surrounded by salvers. I don't know if that's going to be a good thing or a bad thing. Lord knows a bad thing. Nico Hulkenberg's like third, I believe. So our real rival in this series. Nowhere to be found at the moment. I mean, Brendan Hartley's up here. I mean, what in the actual fuck? I mean, this grid is literally reversed. for the time being it does look like rain there was no rain in the forecast though all weekend so if it does rain it's uh, a complete surprise everything's up to temp get those brakes warmed up a little bit more and there we go. Whew. Take a sip of coffee. And by sip, I mean half the goddamn mug. Well, this race may feature the weirdest grid we've ever seen. At least at the start of a race. From 14th, here at Spa. Lights out in the Belgian Grand Prix. Little bit of wheel spin, but not bad. Not one of the worst we've had. And Ericsson nearly gave us no room. In fact, well, he did give us no room, to be honest. But let's not do anything stupid up Eau Rouge. Gonna bide our time. Don't want to do anything crazy off the start. We got an absolute train behind us. No DRS, thankfully, yet. And nobody making a move. Oh, I left the inside open. That's not really all that great. I left the inside open again. But Leclerc can't capitalize. 
Everyone up here is just so slow. Completely compromising my run. Oh, we're going to get a good run here. Can we get Erickson this time? The single file. Oh, he absolutely shut the door on us and then Hartley shut the door on Erickson. And I get a run on Marcus Erickson finally. Apparently not. I just cannot get a run on him. Finally gonna go to the inside. There's trouble behind us. Bits of carbon fiber come flying. Somebody absolutely punted somebody. We got the inside on Marcus Erickson now. Kind of bullied him to get it. But we are up into P13. Couple laps until DRS. Remember, we're pitting on lap five. Whoa, dear God, the grip. It's just, I don't know why it's not there, but it wasn't there. Oh, that's almost like what we did in qualifying in the rain. And now Erickson's going to get a run on us. He's going to go to the inside. Force him out. That's not where we want to be. I'm just wondering where the uh, fast cars are. Boy, I can't wait for DRS. Right on the back of Hartley. Trying to get a run and it's just not working for Christ sakes. I know the arrow sucks on this car, but my God. This racing up here in front of us is absolutely crazy. We're gonna dive to the inside here. See if we can't get a spot on Hartley. Oh, we lost a bit of our front wing because Magnuson slowed down. Be careful with the front wing. You've taken some minor damage. Minor damage. Hopefully we can live with it. Oh, Wait, why isn't TRS enabled? I'm getting a run at the wrong spot. I don't really want to go to the outside here. We get DRS along the straight for Hartley. ERS deployment. I mean, isn't it on? Oh, no, it's on hot lap. That is, that is problem. So turning to the left is a problem with this wing damage. Apparently so is turning to the right. Partly back to our inside. And we lock wheels for a moment, we bump. And now we gotta get the run on Brendan Hartley again, but here comes a Sauber. And there's contact, and Marcus Erickson has knocked our front wing off even more. I mean, you've gotta be kidding me. I mean, what? Fuck. Three second time? Are you kidding me? One, not even a warning. Not even a fucking warning. This game and its inconsistencies, I swear to God. 
didn't even make up a spot on him, and it's like, nope, sorry, two seconds on penalty. After he just swerved into me and knocked off my front wing, ruined our race. Thank you, Marcus Erickson. Man, that's the way Sauber's going to do it, huh? That's the way Sauber's not going to be last and just swerving into me for no fucking reason. Fuck this game, dude. And it won't even penalize him. It won't penalize him uh, Penalize him for ruining our race. No, absolutely won't. Never, never does. That was our last stop. No more scheduled pit stops. It did repair the front wing, though, right? I mean, that's good, but... I mean, for fuck's sake. We're not last. Kimi Raikkonen is last. Damn it! So I gotta take these softs a couple laps longer. That's not the worst part about this whole deal. It's just that we had to... I wasn't gonna repair the front wing until Erickson swerved into it and knocked it even farther off. And then knocked it completely off. On the uh, left side. Ricardo, I imagine, is going to have the pace. I don't know if there's something wrong with Raikkonen. Because he seems slow back there. But remember, no matter what we do, we have a three-second time penalty. Honestly, not even a warning. I, I just don't get its inconsistencies, this game. There's got to be something wrong with Raikkonen. I mean, we ain't catching Ricardo. Make Williams great again. Quite the task. Gained a couple spots. We'll get 16th from Sergio Perez. Everyone has switched on to the soft compound tire. Ours are going to be a lap older. And Sergio Perez is trying to find his way around us. I'm going to go defensive to the inside. Here comes Perez. Mercedes power, DRS. See if he can shut the door on me. That's a nope. Held in strong around the outside there. And we will hold 16th spot. Real opportunity in this race. But, uh, you know, once again, the AI just being stupid. Gap and Perez. I don't know if there's more pit stops to occur here on this lap or not, but. Flag, what have we got? We're leading our teammate Why? by 3.2 seconds. Whoa! Lewis Hamilton's got problems. Okay, I slowed man. down though. The game is mercy killed a spot. Slow and problem. I was on the brakes as hard as I could be. I, I don't know how they break that fast, and I can't. Oh dear God! I nearly did it. Major, major stack ups right now. And now we got, now we got real problems. Now we got real problems. I mean, where do we want me to go? I mean, these guys are going so unbelievably slow. 
I mean, we just got to deal with this front wing damage. Hopefully, it's even and we learn to live with it. I mean, for the love of God, Brendan Hartley. Oh, we can't live with this. I mean, we're going to have to replace it. Look at this trail behind us. I mean, unless we just hope that Brendan Hartley hopes, help, holds him up. Which looks to be exactly what's happening, but he's going to get absolutely slipstreamed to hell up here. They're probably all going to find a way by. We're not even halfway through this race. Yep. Perez has made it through. And already on our back bumper. Oh, Brendan Hartley peeled off. Shit. Well, uh, we're dead. Oh, and I drove in deep, so... Rip to us, but we will get some DRS on Perez if we can even make it up on Rouge with this damage. I can't, I can't turn. It's impossible, we can't make it up on Rouge. We, uh, we're gonna have to pit. I mean, I was kind of hoping for a safety car secretly there. What's the plan for today, Sparty? Um, after this, we're going to get into the Red Wings franchise against uh, Montreal. I mean, I literally just got to park it. I am parking it high, and I'm not doing a very good job of parking it as Vettel gets through. Okay, we've lost the position. That's us down a place. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Had a, had a hard enough time steering already, Ricardo. I know we were both making contact there, but Price. Oh my goodness, I can't even break. I'm just, I'm, I'm really not sure what's going to be more damaging. Staying out or pitting. Ah, dude, it just doesn't, it doesn't stop, it doesn't turn. Goddamn thing, don't do anything. Oh, whoa, what a switch. Oh God, I can't, I can't even attempt to do that. Gotta let Raikkonen through. Claire looking, it's gonna go to the outside. I have no idea how we're about to hold off Charles Leclerc. No fucking clue. He's looking all over the place. Goes to the inside. Yeah, we do have that three-second pedal. I mean, we might as well just fucking pit and hope for the best. For fucking it. Nothing that was our fault. Swerved into by Marcus Erickson. I mean, at this point, at least we can put on some super soft tires and maybe hope to get some time gained on fucking stroll I don't know we're not we're not gonna be able to pit and hold that spot we may be able to hold it over uh, I think it's Brendan Hartley but it's just undrivable I'm just I think everyone else's front wings are made out of titanium and ours still made out of carbon. 
Super soft tires will be going on. Should have checked that beforehand. Brendan Hartley's gonna pass us. We will be effective last. Exit, exit now. But we'll see if we can catch Brendan Hartley with these fresh tires with three laps to go. I don't even know how many corner cut warnings we have as well. We're probably one away from... Uh, from getting uh, another penalty. Doing what we can, running like absolute hell. Even if we catch Hartley, I'm not sure it's gonna matter, but all we can do is try. I think that's a never. Which is faster, hot lap or overtake? The gurus say overtake. I know number-wise it's overtake, but people I see play this game, they say that hot lap is faster. That was a dumb corner. I know it's probably not going to count for position given that, that we had, got that BS time penalty, but... I want to catch Hartley for pride now. Which I think we're gonna do. We got another lap to do it. And we've cut that gap pretty substantially here. That's fine. Hartley and uh, I believe it's our teammate Lance Stroll in quite the battle. I don't know if we're going to catch him. It's worth a shot, but especially with them racing side by side, it's possible. Fastest lap with the Valtteri Botas. I thought he was going to win the race, and he does. Pole winner. They just they said at the uh, beginning of the race that uh, the pole winner rarely wins here. I believe they said 16 out of the last 50 times. I'll make it 17 out of the last 51. Oh, now we're catching our teammate Stroll. Ah! 
That was nearly shit. Still could be shit. Our ERS uh, is nearing problems territory. A wreck lance. Oh, I overdrove that corner way too much. Let me make up a spot for pride. I have literally no battery. I'll dive bomb Lance if I have to. It's, I went way too far back. I think he chucked it up into rich fuel or something. Oh, oh, and CD track limits. Fuck you. Ah, look at the two Williams coming across the line together. Ineffective last place. Just was not day today. Yeah, two front wings later, and um, it's 19th, I believe, for the second straight race. Just cannot stay out of trouble lately, and that's when we were finishing in the top top 10, getting points. That's and what we were doing. We were having mistake, not mistake for races, but weren't getting so into trouble do. and weren't and having well to change our front to wing. Mercedes then are on top today. Valtteri Bottas, I believe, gets his first win of the year, which is shocking. And how, whoa, I just noticed um, Nico Hulkenberg on the podium. I shouldn't be happy about that because he is my rival, but uh, what a weekend. I believe it's, uh, is that Renault's first podium? I think it might be. Current Renault, anyway. And after this round of the ah, well, there it was. Well, we did out, out finish Lewis Hamilton, I guess. Davidson, Technically. By literally a technicality. Because he had some sort of uh, engine malfunction. Let's see what this does to our reputation. Because I'm sure it's not going to be good.